Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you a review of an app that will help us get better color representation on our Pixel 2. Specifically the XL model as the standard Pixel 2 doesn't seem to be suffering from that issue. This is TK and let's go ahead and check out Oreo Colorizer. So here's the Pixel 2 XL. The last couple of days or so I've been using it and overall the device itself is really, really fast. The camera is amazing. Uh, but the issue with the fact that the color comes out a little bit flat is really due to the way the system is set up. Uh, now, if we go into the settings as far as the display, all we have is really the ability to turn on vivid colors. And unfortunately, vivid colors doesn't really give us much as far as an optimization as far as colors. So I'm going to leave it on. But overall, what I'm going to show you guys real quick is a true representation of how the color will pop once we start turning on this app. And this is called Oreo Colorizer, specifically made for the Pixel 2 XL as it is intended to actually turn on a better color representation. So first thing what we need to do is install the application. I'll give you guys a link in the description below to where you'll be able to pick it up, turn it on, and then we need to turn on the actual starting app. So from here, I'm going to try to turn it on, see if you guys could see it on camera. So the, the app is on right now. I'm going to turn it off. Now, it's a very, very subtle thing and it's almost hard to show, but I'm going to be zooming in on this little uh, rainbow as this is where the colors start showing. The reason why I'm zooming into the rainbow is so that we have a much better representation of the service being turned on and turned off. We know that this display being based on the actual V30 from LG this year can generate a really wide uh, gamut of colors and actually can, can have really good saturation. It's a POLED display. It shouldn't be this hard to generate great colors, but it seems like the option wasn't provided to us within the, within the software. So. I'm going to go ahead and start the service. You'll notice it pops, turn it off, turn it back on, turn it off, again, back on. I went back to the home screen and you can notice right there that the colors are popping a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and turn it back off and then uh, the color gets a little bit flatter. So again, the easy way to see it is if you're looking at the actual rainbow, let's go ahead and center it again. So I turn on the service, it starts pop it just gives us a little bit more color representation. It just pops a little more and then you go ahead and turn it off turn it back on. The application is super easy to download, install and set up. Just turn it on and use it and you'll get better color representation on your display. The colors will pop and you'll notice it right away. I think the rainbow there is really a quick and easy way to see it turning on and turning off. Um, other than that, the other options or other things that are coming up with the Pixel 2 XL right now are not that much of an issue. As far as the blue tint, it was present on the V30. That's nothing wrong with the device. It's just the way the panel was created. And as far as the software burn-in or the, the navigation bar burn-in, that could be fixed with a software update down the road. And Google did extend the warranty on the Pixel 2 XL to be able to cover any issue or any, any concerns by the users over the years of having this device. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe as usual. And if you have the Pixel 2 XL, how have you had or how has your experience of using this device for the first few days been? Great, bad, or you're returning the device? I'd like to know. I'll see you guys in the next video.